Hello, my friends, and welcome back to David Media. In the last video, we have an overview of our project and done some initial setup. In this video, we will implement the authentication module and let's start with register user. And we're gonna create a new folder in server folder and rename it models. And in this model folder, we will have a file named user.js and let's bring mongoose and then schema we will define the user model here we have con user schema and we will have the fields first name then last name phone no email password and then we name the model users and finally export it. And then in the server folder, let's create schema.js file and we're gonna bring GQL from Upload Server Express. We will have type definition here. GQL and let's define the user schema here. As defined in the user model, we will have ID, first name, last name, email, phone number, and password. And next, let's define the type for query. We will have user query. And we receive first name as a parameter. And the return type is user. After that, we will have mutation. We will have user sign up and the input would be user sign up input and the return type is user. Let's define the user sign up input. We will have first name, which is string and mandatory. Last name, email, password, and string and mandatory. Finally, is phone number. And that's pretty much for user sign up. So finally, we will export type definition. And next, we're going to create a resolver folder. And in here, let's add the new file for user resolver. Firstly, let's bring user model from model user. And then we need be crypt and JSON web token. So first, let's define the query. We have the user query and let's make it simple. And then we will come back later. We just return a string. So use uh, this, we need this query because it's the root query so that our API can run. So let's come back to the schema. We just remove the parameter first name and the return type is just string. And now we go back to the 
user resolver. Let's define the mutation. We will have user sign up, which is ASIN. We got parent input and context. So let's put it in try cast block. And now first let's has the password. We use bcrypt hatsin and we get the passwords from the input. Then let's create a new user. And we wrap everything from input and then we override the password with the has password. And then we have user away. Let's save this new user to the database. And then we will return user. And now let's export the query and mutation. That pretty much for the user resolver. Then let's add a new file named index.js in the resolver folder. We bring the user resolver and then we have model export query from user resolver dot query and then mutation user resolver mutation and now let's go back to the index.js file in the server folder and Let's import and let's bring type definitions from schema and the resolvers from resolvers. Now let's remove the type definition and resolvers that we defined in the last video. Now they were replaced with the new type definition and resolvers. And then let's bring mongoos and we're gonna connect to the database. We have mongoose dot connect and let's pass the connection string RockQL chat and now let's run the application npm run server. Let's open the banana k pub. So let's remove the query and mutation. We have the mutation for user sign up. We have user sign up, and then this is the return field the first name, last name, email, password, and then phone number. And in here, we have the input email is bill at gmail.com. We have first name. B, and then last name, D, and then password, one, two, three, four, five, six, and phone number. And then I run it. So we have successfully signed up a new user. And now let's create another user with the same email address. And we got the duplicate error, so we need to 
change the email password to David. David, we change the phone number and then I run it and we have create user David successfully. Okay, and next, let's go back to the terminal and let's stop the server. Then we're gonna create the user sign up page in the front end. We need to create and create app for our project. Let's run npx create react app client. Okay, we have created the React application successfully. So now let's cd client and we're gonna install some packages. We run npm install Apollo client and design React Redux React Router DOM and Redux.js toolkit. Then we hit enter. Now let's open the port editor and let's open the package.json file. We need to add the script so that we can start the client and the server concurrently because we already installed concurrently package. We have client script and then we have dev. So now let's save the package.json file. Our client folder for the React application already added. So let's go back to the terminal and we go back to the root folder. Let's run npm run dev and it's running. Okay, our React app is running on the local host port to 3000. Let's open the code editor and open the src folder in the client let's add the graphql folder and inside here we will have apollo client we're gonna import apollo client create http link in memory cache from Apollo client and first let's create an HTTP link and we use create HTTP link URI which is our local host and then let's create an exploit the client we have new Apollo client the cache new in memory cache the link to be HTTP link default option we have watch query flex policy no catch and error policy which is ignore and then let's create a user.js file in here let's import graphql from apollo client and first let's create a user fuse fragment fragment user fields on user we have id email first name last name and phone number and then let's create an exploit user sign up mutation
let's put the user view fragment here and we have mutation the input is user sign up input and then we use the mutation is user sign up the variable is input and then the return type is user fields and next in src we create a redux folder and next let's add actions folder and we have user actions First, let's import user sign up from GraphQL user and then let's export the file function new users. We have user sign up mutation from use mutation from Apollo client and let's put user sign up here. And now we define the user sign up function, which is async function input. And we have the response, which is await user sign up mutation. And the variable is input and then we return user sign up action and next let's open the app.cls file to remove this stuff and we import it undesired CLS and first let's de define the first class page wrapper with the background image padding and mean hay then we open the app.js file let's remove the logo and we import browser router browse and browse from react router dom and we also import apollo provider from apollo client let's import apollo client from GraphQL Apollo client so we define here is just client so let's open and change to client then let's remove this stuff and we will add Apollo provider client is client and then we have browser router let's place a div here with the last name it is pay wrapper 
and in here we have routes and our first route is the user sign up so we have the path here is sign up and the element will be sign up okay now we need to create a new folder in src folder containers and we have sign up type rfc in and let's go back to the apple.js let's import sign up from container and sign up okay now let's open our web browser if we go to sign up page we have the sign up here okay now let's open the sign up page we need to import some component from undesign we have button checkbox column form input and row then we also have link from the app router DOM and now in the return section we have row and in here we will have column and let's make it responsive we have the title which be register and let's bring from 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 use form and in here we have form component layout is vertical strong to first error and then we have class name which is custom form let's define the custom form class we have background padding and border radius let's save it and go back to sign up page and we have the first form item which is first name and then last name and email we put the rule is email and also reply and we also need the password this is also a compulsory field and then we have confirm password we have some validator here and after that our number and then we will have the register button so we don't have login yet so just leave it and now let's format and save the file then let's go back to the web browser okay we have the register ui here and let's go back to the code editor we will implement the sign up function import use user from user actions and let's bring the user sign up from use user and we're gonna create on submit function cons on submit we have values and let's define the input for user sign up we have email is value email 
We have first name, last name, password, and phone number. And after that, we will call the user sign up. We have input. Then message success your account has been registered successfully and then we will recess a few of the form and we will catch the error We will lock the error here. And we also saw the error message. Error cannot create account. And on the finish, event of form component we will use on submit function I want the form in the center in the class name right here we have some typo okay let's save it and go back to the web browser and we will fill up the form. We will have tax roster password and phone number and then click on register. And we got the success message here. And now let's register an account with the as is the email. We have here we just remove and we got the error because the email is already existed okay we have done the user sign up function and in the next video we will work on the user login and lockout thank you for watching and see you in the next video